All right, here we go with a metal cutting test on Project Frankenmill. This is the Tormach 770 head uh, running on a Sieg X3 converted uh, milling machine. So this test, I'm going to be milling just a scrap of uh, 2024 T351 aluminum. Uh, I've got a 3 8 inch 4 flute carbide end mill. I'm going to be running the spindle at 5300 RPM, which is about half the max speed of this particular spindle. Uh, taking a 0.100 depth of cut, full width of cut, uh, and running at 52 inches per minute, which if you've ever run an X3 before, this is a pretty aggressive cut, and it seems to eat it right up. So let's watch it throw some metal. Now, there's a bit of chatter there at the end. This this end is hanging out of the vise. Um, but considering I haven't even trammed this thing yet, not even close, uh, just basically threw it on there roughly, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the result so far. This thing is producing what I would actually call chips, which I would uh, maybe say for the first time ever since I've had this machine. These look like legitimate chips. They're not just sort of melted blobs of aluminum. These actually have been chipped off as a milling machine is supposed to work. Let's see if I can get in here and take a look at the cut. Like I said, this was just a scrap, so you know, not the best finish in the world, but it's also uh, not bad at all. Really, uh, considering this is a rough setup, Cool. I'm pleased with the initial result so far. Here it is. So I've got the big uh, one horsepower AC motor, the uh, the belt drive arrangement that's in there, and I have it on the high speed range right now. You can see the head, along with the uh, where most of the work really was here, which was moving these bolts. Uh, moving the bolt holes rather so that this would bolt straight on to the Z slide. You can see the spindle nose down here and the end mill that I was just using. So pretty cool progress. It's always cool to see the first cuts happen.